Another big part of the, the risks of uh, the biological and the physical risks of production inherent in producing so many animals in such great densities is the fact that animals are living beings, they can suffer. Uh, and the animal, uh, uh, or the, the industrial livestock industry has long described this sort of euphemistically as stress, uh, but really it's fundamentally about suffering. And the suffering uh, basically ranges from um, oh, 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 the, the, the confinement of animals in, in uh, battery cages to uh, the, the, the huge concentrations of um, broiler hens in, in huge sheds uh, to uh, other forms of confinement. And, and one of the basic ways that the the problems associated with this production has been overridden is through pharmaceuticals. Again, there's been this phenomenal growth of pharmaceuticals in industrial livestock production. But another way, the problems associated with the, how these productive environments are organized is just blunt force, physical mutilations. So another basic part of our food system that people rarely think about is, is how things like um, the, the, the chick de-beakers are, are just ubiquitous in our food system. The chicks, as they're hatched, their beaks are clipped off so that they don't peck each other to death or injury in confinement. Um, so, uh, and I have there, I don't know if you can see that, the every four seconds. When at hatcheries, um, there is this de-beaking process that happens at a lightning speed. Chicks are basically taken and their beaks are clipped off, um, euphemistically often termed beak trimming. Uh, and, and this is a basic fundamental override to enable chickens to be packed in, in these great densities is, is, to, is to mutilate them shortly after birth. Um, one incredible statistic uh, that never uh, ceases to amaze when, I, when you think about it is that there are more chickens killed today in a single day in the United States than were killed all year in 1930. That's less than a century ago. It's just an incredible transformation of, of productive environments. And I'd encourage you to look at animalvisuals.org, uh, which he tries to visualize. He basically takes the United States Department of Agriculture slaughter statistics and tries to visualize them. Uh, and what he so and and what this image does here is it basically is it's like every second of every day, 24/7, all year. It's the, the and and what it maybe you can see there. It shows the the birds. The chicken dots are literally flying across the screen. Uh, almost 300 chickens killed in the United States per second, 24 hours of every day. Uh, so it's, and all that is is United States Department of Agriculture statistics visualized. It's a very powerful uh, resource to, to look at. He also presents this attempt to try and think about how these productive environments um, uh, are how, how they feel, um, obviously you can't feel it by you know, looking at this uh, on, on a two-dimensional screen, but he basically tries to visualize or put you in a gestation crate or put you in a battery cage and try to think about the sounds, the, 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 the environment. Um, so I'd encourage you to have a look if you're interested in this at animalvisuals.org, a, a very powerful website. And another part of the physical mutilation is, is uh, things like castration. Most of the physical mutilations that happen without anesthetic, uh, and I've mentioned the deep beaker. Um, so the de-beaking, the tail clipping, the castration, the toe cutting, needle teeth clipping, ear notching, tail docking, dehorning. These are fundamental things that enable animals to uh, be packed in these growing densities. Um, and overwhelmingly performed without anesthetic, as I've mentioned.